These might be the best pair of gloves I've ever owned. Hey, what's going on my fellow nerds and welcome to the very first episode of my Red Hood cosplay series. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to weather Batman Dawn of Justice gloves. Like I said, this is for my Red Hood cosplay, that's why they are red. I also gotta say, I wasn't a big fan of how I shot this. You can't really see a lot of the techniques and you know how it really looks in the end. But don't worry, come back here after all the footage is done and I will show you in depth and in person how it's supposed to look. All right, you guys, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so this is essentially what you guys are gonna wanna do, right? We wanna go to Hobby Lobby or some kind of convenience store. So you're gonna wanna get three different kinds of paints, right? So here's what we're gonna start off with. We're gonna start off with, this is called Folk Art acrylic metallic gloss finish. Um, this is essentially what's going to give the knuckles like a shiny sheen to it. And it's gonna make it look like it's, you know, metal or iron or some kind of brass like it's supposed to. All right, so what we're gonna do is, take this. What you wanna do is you wanna just get some of it like this. You wanna cover it up really well, like this. And you want to make sure you get the outside black rim too. And now what you're going to do is you're going to take it, towel, paper towel, whatever you can, and you're just going to dab it off like so. Dab. Look at that. Dab. Okay. See that? That looks much better already. What you're going to do next? You're going to take this here. This is also folk art paint. This is a rich black. Um, acrylic paint, ultra matte acrylic paint, but if you look for it, it'll say chalk on it because it resembles like a chalkish color once you get it off. Dip it. What you're going to do is instead of covering the whole bit here, you're just going to cover an outer rim here. So you don't, you don't really want to hit the middle part. And what you're going to do is you're going to go against the grain and just this is going to make it look more dirty, battle-worn, and just a bit darker. See that? Uh, it looks rough and worn. See that one compared to this one? Yeah. It looks much better and much more worn. Okay, so now essentially what we're going to do is we're going to take this silver paint right here. This is Tester's silver paint. This is like they use for like model cars and stuff like that. And essentially we're going to be using a technique what's called dry brushing. Instead of taking this and dipping it down in there, what you're going to do is you're just going to get on the lid here on the rim and you're just going to lightly take it off. You, you essentially don't want any kind of paint on the brush. What you're going to do is now you're going to come here You're just gonna dry brush some silver onto this. All right, you guys, so here, check this out. Get a good shot of this here. Here's a real nice, clean look at how they're gonna end up looking. Or you might get some of that metallic sparkle paint on the glove there, but honestly, I kind of dig it. It kind of looks like biker oil or some kind of oil from a mechanic shop or something. And I think it looks pretty relatively dope. I kind of went a little too uniform on this one, but honestly, I think it, coming from the camera, it looks pretty decent. Keep in mind, uh, your design may look different than mine. It all depends on your taste and how you want it to look. But overall, this is basically what you're going to kind of go for. Just that gritty, gross, dirty, battle-torn, battle-damaged look. And that is how you weather these gloves, you guys. Hope you guys found this helpful and enjoyable to watch. As much as I liked making it, it was really, really fun. Make sure you tune into the next episode where I'll be painting and weathering my shin guards. All right, you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Closing time. And you're going to get... I can't speak today. <laughs>